hello amazing people welcome back to my space in this particular video i'm going to show you guys how you can simply make a crochet bread with brazilian wool that you can easily crochet it on your hair you don't need to go the stress of braiding your hair one one just go ahead and crochet it on your hair and you are good to go and the amazing thing about this is that we are making use of brazilian wool okay it's very very affordable super affordable the normal brazilian wool you know that's what we are going to be using to make this crochet breads with coils at the tip so it sounds like something you've been interested in do not skip any part of this video so that you don't so that you don't miss any important value i'm going to be dropping on this particular video so here are the materials we need we just need brazilian wood the normal brazilian wood you know we need our flazy rods we need our scissors and we also need our air um conditioner and i swear hot water so after rolling and cutting my brazilian wood to the length i want yours can be longer or shorter it depends on you so the next thing i'm going to do is to use part of the wool or rope or anything construct something like this where you'll be placing your brazilian wood to bridge you can use part of your brazilian wood to do this or rope anything at all so i'm going to be counting 12 of the brazilian wool 12 pieces of the brazilian wool. 12 pieces that's what i'm making use of but if you want yours to be larger you have to increase the amount you pick if you want it to be smaller you have to reduce so when i place it on the rope please watch carefully this is how you get your base first twist it twice okay i twist the first one and again i twist the second one then when you're done twisting the second one hold the twist so that it doesn't lose then go ahead and separate your hair into three remember we are doing bob mali here separate your hair into three then when you separate it to, into three, you start braiding. Remember, I held where I twisted so that it doesn't lose. The reason why we did this is to get our base where our crochet pin will be passing. Okay, that's why we did this. Then you start braiding. Okay, braid. This is how to do your bob mali in case you don't know how to. Or I swear, go ahead and let me know in the comment section if you don't know how to do um, bob mali. This type of bread not twisting okay bob mali if you don't know how to do it let me know in the comment section okay i will definitely make a video on that all right then you start braiding braiding why you bread please as you see bread you separate bread like twice or three times you separate the wool even if you're working with extension which i'm still going to make a video on on how to equally achieve this with extension which is attachment you need to be separating it while you go down even when you are braiding um someone this is the same process okay if you don't separate it it might uh, it might tangle okay it will tangle so that's why you need to separate it while you braid down i hope i'm not rushing guys <laughs> i hope you guys are getting what i'm trying to say so you keep braiding my people keep braiding keep spreading till you get to the tip okay not the tip guys where our coils we start so i have done one already i just have to measure make sure all the braids are of the same length i mean where the coils we start and then i'll go ahead and use one of the wool and knot it okay use one of the wool and knot it let me show you guys again count 12 pieces of the wool if you want a tinier one maybe you should go for five pieces then if you want a larger one maybe you should go for 15 or 18 pieces all right then when i got my 12 wools, i have to place it on our rope like that making sure the lengths are same then i twist to get my base okay watch carefully you twist okay twist it tight please twist the second one then how where you twisted so it doesn't lose separate the hair into three equal parts and then you start to do your bob mali all right 
so guys if you followed me to this point and you know you've not you are yet to like the um this video please hit the like button like the video help me to distribute this video i don't want to use the other word okay go ahead i me to do this video like if you have any question you know you are always free to let me know in the comment section so when i draw when i get to where my core is we start i measure and then i knot it twice okay so this is just what you will continue doing just continue like that for the purpose of this video i did just fourth piece okay after which i'm going to be doing more i'm going to be doing like from 40 to 45 piece because i'm still going to make a video to show you guys how to install it okay how to crochet it on your hair so i need more piece but for the purpose of this video i'll just do four to show you guys exactly how it's done after which i will go ahead and make more like 40 pieces or so for my head so this is how i got the coils get your flexi rods and start twisting the wool you twist and roll you you twist then you roll it on the flexi rods you twist and you roll on the flexi rods that's how you got the uh, i got the coils and then of course you have to bend the start point so that it doesn't lose that way okay let me show you guys the second time get one of your flexi rods and place the wool on it and start twisting and rolling on the flexi rods okay you twist and roll you twist and roll okay just like that you get to the tip of the wool and please make sure you're twisting a tight okay make sure you're twisting is tight all right remember i said i'm still going to be dropping a video on how to install this on your hair when i'm done making more so if to avoid missing that video if you are here to join me join me okay by clicking the like button subscribe if you are here to do so turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my video so the next thing is to get a bowl well, a bucket add some conditioner into the bowl well i added little because i'm working with just four piece then place the head the crochet head into the bowl well and then go ahead and apply hot water i mean hot water like hot water eh <laughs> so pour the hot water on the bread and allow the bread to sit in the hot water especially the tip to sit in the hot water for a while okay the coily part should sit in the hot water for a while after which you allow it to cool a little bit because it's hot so that your hand doesn't get burned don't wound yourself so just allow it to cool a bit after that you start to lose the flexi rose okay gently lose it gently gently lose, lose the flexi rose okay that is how we got the coils you can simply just crochet this onto your hair okay crochet it onto your hair i'm still going to be dropping a video on how you can do that and this particular way is that it's super affordable because it's brazilian wool i'm still going to be making a video for those who would like to try the attachment method i'm still going to drop a video on that but this one is we achieve this with just our normal brazilian wool okay so keep losing the coils when you are i'm done losing the coils this is what i have at this point if you have your hair mousse go ahead and apply hair mousse especially on the coily part and then you can as well apply or a sheen so that it should shine more so you see the essence of twisting before you braid, so as to get your your base where our crochet pin will be passing when we are trying to crochet it on our hair can you see how we were able to achieve this using our brazilian wool just few things few tools and we are done within a matter of some time you are done with how many pieces you want the length depends on you Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next upload. Bye.